butterfly. <laughs> Hello, I'm Maria. You're here just in time. We were about to go on an adventure. And I wouldn't want to leave without you. <laughs> I can't wait for you to meet my friends. I think you'll really like them. We have our own jokester, Cress. Dee, who always keeps us safe. And Peter, who's just wacky. We go on all sorts of adventures and learn a lot along the way. Like this one time, Chris and I were trying to build the world's tallest tower out of blocks in the... Ugh. Hello, Maria. Instead of telling you about our adventures, why don't I just show you? Work together as a team. Aw, oh, not again. Hey, Maria. Uh, are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. I'm just trying to build the tallest block tower, but it keeps falling down. Here, if you put more blocks at the bottom, you can build higher. Hey, this is much taller than I had before. Just one block left. Hmm. Hey, guys. We're building the tallest tower ever. Can I help? Sure. What can I do? Well, I want to get the very last brick on top. But it's too high for me. I know. I can hold this step stool for you. So you're safe. Okay. It's amazing. It's beautiful. It was a group effort. I thought I could do it all on my own, but I kept knocking it over. Thanks for your help, guys. That's what friends do. Yeah, we make a great team. <laughs> Yay, teamwork! Now what should we build? You know, I thought I saw more blocks in the back. I bet we can make our next tower even taller! Yay! Yay! <laughs> Brush your teeth. Mm, your mom sure makes great spaghetti, Chris. Yeah, she's the best. I'm glad you could have dinner with us. I wish I could have spaghetti for dinner all the time. That would be fun. Uh, where are you going? I'm going to go brush my teeth. Why are you going to brush your teeth now? You should always brush your teeth before you go to bed. That's how you keep your teeth healthy. Really? But I brushed my teeth when I got up this morning. Isn't that enough? It's a good start. But if you want to keep a healthy smile, you should brush your teeth in the morning and at night. But why? I went to the dentist the other day and he told me all about it. Know what this is? It's a tooth. Wait, what are those things? Those are bacteria and germs, and they make up a sticky goo called plaque. Plaque can build up on your teeth. They're so tiny. They look little, but they can cause big problems. Like what? They can cause bad breath and even worse, cavities. What are cavities? The outside of your tooth is like a shield, keeping the inside of your tooth safe. If you get a cavity, it can go through that shield into the inside of your tooth where your nerves live. And that can hurt. Cavities that don't get treated can get so big that your entire tooth dies and falls out. When you brush with toothpaste, you clean off all the plaque. What? No way I'm losing my teeth. I'm going to brush my teeth after every meal. But don't forget, you should always brush for at least two minutes each time. 
Wait, where are you going? I'm gonna brush my teeth right now. Hey, wait for me. I need to brush my teeth too. <laughs> Always tell the truth. Oh no! The ship is going down into the waves! The big, rushing, splashing, watery waves! Uh, uh oh. I gotta go. Vroom, 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 vroom. This truck is the fastest truck on the road. Hey! Isn't that Peter's truck? Yes, but he said I could borrow it for the day. Wow, that sure was nice. I know that's one of his favorite toys. Yeah, Peter's a good friend. Vroom, 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 vroom. Can I play? Sure. Uh, I guess so. Oh no! What happened to my truck? The wheel is broken. Chris, do you know what happened to it? No, I wasn't even playing with it. Yes, you were. I just saw you playing with it. No. I was playing with another toy, not that one. This was my favorite truck. Now what am I going to play with? Chris, you told a lie. You shouldn't do that. I, I didn't mean to. I just don't want Peter to be mad at me. But you are his best friend. If you tell him the truth and tell him you are sorry, he won't be mad. But if you lie, he will be. You're right. But telling the truth can be hard. And now my tummy hurts and my head feels funny. I think that's the truth trying to get out. Go tell Peter the truth about what happened to his truck. <sighs> okay. Peter? Yes? I'm really sorry. I lied to you. I broke your truck by accident, but I didn't want to tell you because I thought you would be mad at me. But Chris, we're best friends. Best friends are always honest with each other. I'm not mad you broke my truck, but I am a little sad you didn't tell me. I'm so sorry. <laughs> it's okay. It was only an accident. I forgive you. You do? Yes, that's what friends do. You mean we're still friends? Of course! You know, I bet your dad could fix your truck. <gasps> Let's go find out. Peter, you're a good friend. So are you, Chris. <laughs> <laughs> Superfoods Oats! my breakfast oatmeal cool off before I eat it. Normally, I just blow on it. But I was feeling so super today that I decided to do it this way. Did you know oatmeal is made from real oats? Oats are a member of the grain family. They're also a superfood. That means every day you eat oatmeal, you're doing something super good for your body. Oats really are a superfood. They're low in calories, high in fibers and protein, and they're a great source of vitamins and minerals like magnesium, potassium, zinc, copper, and selenium. Phew, that's more than a mouthful and a tummy full. In fact, having oatmeal for breakfast is my favorite way to get ready for school. I know if I have a healthy bowl of oatmeal, I'll be full all morning long, and my brain and body will get what it needs to kickstart my day. 
Oatmeal is on the top of my list for super grains. But there are other grains that are great for you, too. Like brown rice, wheat, wild rice, buckwheat, and rye. <laughs> there are even some funny-sounding ones, too, like quinoa and couscous. <laughs> I love couscous, both to eat and to say. Couscous! Mmm, <laughs> I think it's cool enough to eat now. Yum. I can't wait. I hope you have a superfood breakfast and a superfood rest of the day, too. Bye. Rhyming words in the ache family. Hey, Peter. Do you want to play rhyming stories with me? Rhyming stories? What are those? My mom and I make up rhyming stories in the car sometimes, and it's a lot of fun. This is how it works. I'll give us a word, and we have to build rhymes on top of that word and make up a little story to go with it. What are we rhyming? Let's rhyme <gasps> the ache family. Ache family? What's that? A K E. Words that end with the sound ache. I know. Snake. Snake ends with ache. I love my toy snake. <laughs> okay. Tell me about your toy snake. Well, his name is Jake, and he loves to bake. What does he bake? That's easy. Cake. It's time to frost it. But... Be careful he doesn't drop the icing, because sometimes his tail likes to shake. That looks delicious. Sometimes he likes to take his cake and eat it by the lake. <laughs> <laughs> and when he's done, he works in the garden with his rake. It's a sudden snowstorm. Look, there's a snowflake. Don't worry, Jake. It's not really snow. It's all just fake. All that hard work makes him sleepy. So it's hard to stay awake. Good night, Jake. That was fun. I love rhyming stories. <laughs> Me too! There's just one problem. What's that, Peter? Now I'm really hungry for cake! <laughs> and on the side, I want a strawberry milkshake! <laughs> Always be a good sport! Peter, you brought your own soccer ball with you to school today? I sure did. Good old Spots here is my lucky soccer ball. He never misses the goal when I kick him. Awesome! Let's play soccer during recess. Okay. I love playing soccer anytime. It's my favorite sport. My favorite sport is baseball. I like hitting a home run and winning the game. Winning is fun. But it's okay to lose, too, as long as you try your best. I guess so. It's true. It happened to me at my last soccer game. The game was almost over. I kicked the ball really hard to get past the goalie. But the ball missed the net. I kicked it too high and the other team won the game. This boy from the other team was what my coach calls a sore winner. He ran up to me and laughed at me for missing the goal. He said that his team was better than mine because they won the game. But I told the boy that I tried my best and that's what matters. My coach agreed with me. He said, Peter's right. The most important thing is that he tried his best. The boy stopped laughing at me. 
Then he said sorry. He told me that I'm a good soccer player. I told him thank you, and we shook hands. Then my coach told me that he was proud of me for being a good sport even though we lost. It felt good doing the right thing. It's good that the boy said sorry. He shouldn't have laughed at you because you lost. Win or lose, you should be a good sport by always being nice to the other team. No one likes a sore winner. You're right. I guess it doesn't matter who wins or loses as long as we have fun. Hopefully today at recess, everyone will be a good sport. No sore losers or winners. Well, there are definitely going to be winners because I'm feeling super quick today, so you and Old Spots better watch out. <laughs> you hear that, Old Spots? Let's teach Chris how much fun it is to lose sometimes. <laughs> We have five senses. Hi, guys. Did you know we have five senses? We use our senses every day to learn about the world around us. Want to know what those senses are? Okay. They are touch, smell, sight, hearing, and taste. Touch, smell, sight, hearing, and taste. That's five senses. Do you know how we use our senses? I'll show you. Do you know what this is? It's a pineapple. How do we know it's a pineapple? Because we can see it. That's using our sight. What does it feel like when you touch a pineapple? A pineapple feels rough. That's using our sense of touch. And when we use our sense of smell, <sighs> we know a pineapple smells yummy. But you know what I like even more? The taste of pineapples. Mm, mm, mm. But can you hear a pineapple? What sound does a pineapple make? Huh. <laughs> That's silly. A pineapple doesn't make a sound, but we can hear other things like me making a beep. <laughs> wow, that was fun. We use our senses every day to explore the world around us. When you get dressed, can you feel the difference between your cotton shirt and your cotton jeans? How about when you go outside? What do you touch every day? What does it feel like to touch tree bark? Is it different from grass? Is it rough? Is it smooth? Is it hard? Or is it soft? Take a deep breath and describe what you smell. What can you hear? Can you smell flowers or the trees? Are you in the city or out in the country? What smells and sounds do you hear in a city? What about at a farm? <laughs> that was fun. Exploring the world around me using my five senses is a lot of fun, and I hope you have fun as you use them, too. Hey, Peter! Come on, Peter! Let's go play! I think I hear Marie and Chris calling me to go play. Sorry! Gotta go! I'll see you later! Bye! Wash your hands! What do you see, Chris? Not much. Just grass and this old pencil. Yes! Lunchtime, here we come! Yeah. Let's go wash our hands so we're ready to eat. 
Why do I have to wash my hands? They don't look dirty. That's because some dirt is hard to see. But that doesn't mean it's not there. What do you mean? I'll show you. You just wait right there. <laughs> Roll it! Huh? What's going on? <laughs> Hello? D? Where am I? And what are these floaty things? Well, Chris, <laughs> that's bacteria. And I hear you have some questions about washing your hands. Uh, well, I... That's great. You'll learn all about it. Why don't you start by looking at those hands of yours? Golly, they sure look clean, don't they? But let's see what happens when we get a closer look. Germs, germs, germs. These little fellas you see here are germs and bacteria. And they are all over your hands, Chris. But how did they get there? I didn't touch any bacteria. Oh, but you did. It's too small to see, but bacteria is everywhere. It's on door handles, pens and pencils, and your toys. There's bacteria on almost every surface in the entire world. Why, it's even on you. <laughs> Don't worry, Chris. Not all bacteria is bad. Phew, that's a relief. It sure is. But just in case the bad bacteria might be on your hands, you should wash them so you don't get sick. But if I can't see the germs on my hands, how do I know when to wash them? That's a good question. You should wash your hands several times a day. Like after you use the restroom, or after touching animals, and especially before you eat. You wouldn't want bacteria getting on your food now, would you? Good. Well, it looks like my work here is done. See you later, Chris. Be sure to wash your hands. Oh, I will. Thanks, mister. I, I do what I can. <laughs> well, what did you think? That was cool. I sure learned a lot. Mm-hmm. What should we do now? Well, ladies and germs, let's go wash our hands. Yeah. Let's go! <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Respect others on the playground! Maria, do you want to play hide-and-seek at recess today? Yeah, I love hide-and-seek! My favorite place to hide is under the... Oops! I almost gave away my hiding spot! Well, I have my own super secret hiding spot where no one will be able to find me. Oh, yeah? We'll see about that at recess. <laughs> <laughs> I can't wait. I'm glad that you're back today, Maria. We missed you yesterday. Aw, thanks, Peter. Did I miss anything while I was gone? Well, there is a new boy in class. Ooh, I like making new friends. Did you play with him at recess? Well, kind of. He wasn't very nice to anyone. Oh, what do you mean? I was waiting in line for the swings. It was almost my turn, so I was getting really excited. But the new boy cut in front of me and took my swing. It was not his turn, and it made me feel angry because I was next in line. <gasps> that wasn't very nice. He wasn't playing fair. He needed to wait his turn. I know, right? But he wasn't very nice to anyone else either. A little bit later, Dee tripped and fell really hard on the ground, and the new boy didn't help her. He just laughed at her. And he wouldn't share the basketball when we wanted to play with him. He didn't know how to play fair with other people. That's not how you should act when you're on the playground. Everyone needs to play together and take turns. You're right, Maria. That's why he sat all by himself at snack time. He was so rude to everyone that no one wanted to be his friend. When you're on the playground, you should always wait your turn in line, be nice to everyone, 
and share with other kids who want to play with you. Everyone on the playground has more fun when you play nice together. Yeah. Do you know when I have the most fun? When we play hide and seek. Yeah. When we play hide and seek today, I'll make sure that I play fair. Me too. <laughs> <laughs> Superfoods! Blueberries! <laughs> Whew. Did you see me run by? I know! I was running pretty fast, right? That's because I've got lots of energy for eating blueberries! Blueberries aren't just tasty, they're also a superfood! Blueberries may be tiny, but they're packed with a whole lot of important nutrients. They say elephants never forget. <laughs> and if you eat a lot of blueberries, neither will you. Blueberries are great for helping to improve memory. Blueberries are superfoods, but other berries are great for your body too. Cranberries, boysenberries, raspberries, oh, blackberries, cherries, Ooh, purple grapes, and my favorite, strawberries! Mmm, all these berries make me hungry for my favorite healthy treat. That's right! Berries are perfect for my morning yogurt parfait. In fact, that sounds so good, I'm going to go make one right now. See you later! Know how to handle bullying. Hey, Peter, let's go play basketball. Okay, and then afterwards, can we play horse? I like doing my super cool, super amazing, Peterific trick shot. <laughs> <laughs> sure. <laughs> hey, Maria, do you want to play basketball with us? <laughs> no. I just came from the basketball courts. This boy over there was really mean to me. What did he do? He wouldn't let me play basketball because I'm a girl. He said that girls can't play sports, and then he laughed at me in front of everyone. That's awful. <laughs> That kid was being a bully. What's a bully? A bully hurts someone just to make themselves feel good. But why would hurting someone make anyone feel good? Bullies think it gives them power over other people. But no one should be bullied. You should tell an adult. Like a playground monitor or Miss Flowers. I, I know, but I don't want to tell on him and be a tattletale. Maria, bullying is serious. If you or anyone else is being bullied by someone, it's important for a teacher to know. <laughs> You're right. And then he told me girls can't play sports. He made fun of me in front of everyone, Miss Flowers. Oh, I'm so sorry that you were bullied, Maria. Are you okay? Yeah, but it didn't feel very good. Bullying never feels good. You were right to tell me about this. No one should ever feel unsafe at school. What should I do now? The best thing to do is stay away from that person and anyone else who tries to hurt you. Okay, I will. And I'll meet with this boy and his parents to make sure he understands that bullying is hurtful to others. Okay? <sighs> Thanks, Miss Flowers. I feel a lot better now. I'm glad I came to you for help. Anytime, Maria. Now get back out there and play with your friends. Uh, how did it go? You told her, right? Yeah. And now, I feel better. Good job, Maria. Now, let's show everyone how good girls can be at basketball. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>
Don't take things that aren't yours. Vroom, 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 vroom. Good thing my car has super strong tires. I'm the fastest driver in the whole world. <laughs> Can you use your car to bring me some food? My doll is hungry. Hey, isn't that Dee's doll? Yes, but she let me borrow her. Wow, really? That's her favorite doll. You must be an extra special friend if she said you could borrow it. Did you ask her nicely? No, I didn't have to. You mean you just took it? Of course. She lets me borrow her stuff all the time. Maria, there's a big difference between borrowing and stealing. <gasps> I didn't steal it. Did you ask her if you could take her doll? No. Even if she lets you borrow things, you should always ask before you take anything. It's the right thing to do. And it's what friends should always do. <laughs> Are you okay, Dee? I can't find my doll anywhere. I've looked everywhere. I think she's gone forever. Don't cry, Dee. Here, I have it. Oh, my doll! Oh, I was so worried. Thank you so much, Maria. Where did you find her? Uh, I didn't find her, Dee. I took her. I, you took her? Why? I didn't think it would be a problem. You've always let me borrow your things before. Oh. I wish you'd asked first, Maria. Not knowing where my doll was really had me worried. I know, Dee. I promise to always ask you if I can borrow things from now on. Thanks, Maria. And I promise to ask you, too. <laughs> Chris and I were playing. Do you want to come and play, too? Yeah. Can my doll play? Sure. Okay. <laughs> A good night's sleep. I had a funny dream last night, Chris. Do you want to hear about it? Sure. <laughs> I dreamt that I was riding a roller coaster through the sky, and then I passed by a flying chipmunk and a gorilla on a hot air balloon. <laughs> <laughs> That's a crazy dream. I don't remember my dream from last night. <sighs> I didn't get a good night's sleep. Why? What happened? Well, it was my bedtime, so my mom tucked me in and said good night. But I didn't feel very tired, and I didn't want to go to sleep yet. So I snuck under the covers and read a book with my flashlight. But my mom caught me. She told me to put the book away and go to sleep. She said that getting a good night's sleep is very important. <sighs> I knew my mom was right. But I still wasn't tired. So I jumped out of bed and played with my blocks. <sighs> then I danced to music. played a game with my dinosaurs. <laughs> it was a close game, but I won. I finally fell asleep hours after my bedtime. When I woke up, oh, I was really tired. I've been tired all day long. That's because you didn't go to sleep at your bedtime. When you go to sleep at your bedtime, you have lots of energy the next day, and you're not tired. <sighs> and having energy is w way better than feeling tired. 
I'm going to make sure I go to sleep at my bedtime every night now. Good idea. Maybe tonight, while you're getting a good night's sleep, you'll have a funny dream, too. I hope I do, too. Then I can tell you all about it tomorrow. Yes! I can't wait to hear it. <laughs> Sweet dreams, Chris. Ahoy, mateys! <laughs> Arr, thank you for inviting me over today, Maria. We make a good pirate team. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad you could come, matey. <laughs> I think I hit buried treasure. That's not treasure, that's trash. Actually, Peter, it sort of is treasure. What do you mean? Come on, I'll show you. It's a plastic bottle, which means we can recycle it in this bin. But isn't that the trash? <laughs> no, it's the recycling. See? That symbol means recycling, not trash. You want to make sure when you put recycling away, you're putting it in the right bin. It might look like trash, but it has a very different use. What happens when you recycle something? Well... I can't wait, I'm moving, I'm on my way Going to the world of recycling It's my turn to help for a brighter day Reduce, reuse, keep the earth clean Plastic, paper, and glass Be new again We're separated, moving through the big machine To get us ready to make sure we're speaking clean Now we're off to see what we're gonna be This is how we all keep the earth clean Plastic, paper, and glass We all get our own chance to be like magic. It is magic. I'm going to make sure I always recycle. I'll tell my mom we should get a recycling bin at our house too. You can also help out by using reusable water bottles and filling them up again at home instead of buying water bottles you only use once and then throw away. Wow, helping the earth is easy. It is. Now come on, let's keep digging. Maybe we'll find more treasure. Arr, your splash reminds me of the seven seas. Let's go make a pirate ship out of some old boxes. <laughs> aye, aye, Captain. Use polite words. How's your lunch, Chris? Ah, it smells great. Mrs. Harris, the lunch lady, was really nice. She even noticed my new shirt. Oh, she didn't say anything to me. In fact, Miss Harris seemed a little grumpy when I asked for food. Hmm, maybe you didn't use polite words when you asked for it. Really? How did you ask for your food? Well... When I got to the front of the lunch line, Mrs. Harris was facing the other way. So I said, excuse me, Mrs. Harris. And she turned around and asked me what I wanted to eat for lunch. So I asked, may I have some chicken, carrots, and yogurt, please? She told me, yes, you may, and then put lots of food on my tray. I said, thank you very much. And then she said, you're welcome. That's a nice shirt, young man. 
She was very nice. Wow, you're right. She was nice to you. How did you ask for your food, Peter? I said, give me some fish, green beans, and yogurt. And then she gave me my food. But she didn't say anything to me. Hmm. Peter, she was probably grumpy because you didn't use polite words. Oh, but which words are polite words? Well, words like please, thank you, and excuse me. How do I use them? Can I use them anytime? Sure. When you ask for something like food, you should say, may I please have some food? And always say thank you when someone does something nice for you. Oh, and what about excuse me? When you need to get someone's attention, but that person is busy, you should say, excuse me, to let them know that you would like to talk to them. Just like you said to Miss Harris. Wow, Chris, you know so much about being polite. Thanks for helping me. Hey, I just used a polite word. Woohoo! <laughs> yeah, way to go, Peter. All right. Can we please eat our lunch now? I'm hungry. Yes, we may. <laughs> <laughs> the teacher for help. All right, class. I'm going to give you until the bell rings to work on your math problems. If you have any questions, raise your hand and I'll come help you. Huh? What does this mean? What did you say, Chris? Oh, nothing. Just, do your math problems look like weird pictures to you? <laughs> no. Do they look that way to you? Do you need some help? I think so. I don't even know where to start. And I don't want to get behind. Well, you should ask the teacher for help if you don't understand a problem. I would help you myself, but... I'm no math magician. Uh, I don't know, Maria. I don't want anyone to think I'm not smart if I need to ask for help. There are lots of kids who don't understand at times. And asking for help is actually the smart thing to do. Oh. If you don't ask now, you'll just be more confused later. The teacher is here to make sure you understand. You're right. Thanks, Maria. Chris, you look confused. Do you have any questions? Yes, I do, Miss Flowers. Can you please go over some of the math problems with me? Sure. Thanks for asking me for help. I want to make sure you understand everything. So, what happened with your math, Chris? It all makes sense now. Asking the teacher for help was the right thing to do. Now I understand my work. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> yeah, pretty soon I might even be a math magician. Abracumathma, Alakazil. I'll solve these math problems because I asked for help. <laughs> <laughs> Superfoods, yogurt. Tell Dee I'm here. She made a super yummy breakfast parfait, and I just couldn't help myself. They're so delicious. Ooh, a dot. Come here, tiny red dot. No, wait, tiny red dot. I just want to hold you. Yeah, it gets her every time. Now that I've got this back, Mmm. I see why Maria likes yogurt parfaits so much. They're delicious. Mmm. I love yogurt. Not only is it a tasty treat, but it's also a superfood, which makes it just right for my super snacks. 
It has live cultures. And that's what makes yogurt so powerful. Yogurt contains several very special types of lactic acid-producing bacteria. This is a special bacteria that isn't just good for your body, it's great! Foods that contain these healthy bacteria are called probiotics. And your body loves them. Probiotics help keep us healthy by fighting bad bacteria that can live in our intestines and make us sick. Yogurt is pretty powerful stuff. It can help to boost our immune systems, help with food digestion, and make it easier for our bodies to absorb minerals and vitamins. The best yogurt to get is plain. That way you get to decide what flavor to make it. I mix strawberries in with mine. <laughs> Yummy. <sighs> and one more thing about yogurt that I love, it's high in protein which is great for energy. And the more energy I have, the longer I can do this. Tiny red dot, wait for me. Yep, I can do this all day. Exercise three times a week. What are you drawing, Chris? You'll see. I'm almost done. There. Now the jungle is complete. Wait. Don't forget my soccer ball spots. King of the leopards. Uh... <laughs> uh... Okay. What do you want to do now? We can watch TV. Hmm. <gasps> I know. Why don't we get up and go? Get up and go? That's what I call exercise. It's my get up and go time. Oh, but I already exercised yesterday. <laughs> That's okay. It's best to exercise at least three times a week. That way your body can stay healthy. But why do we have to exercise so much? For a couple of reasons. First, exercise is great for your heart. It makes it stronger. And it's great for your other muscles, too. Strong muscles help to protect your bones and insides. And it can make you faster and stronger. I'd love to be faster and stronger like a tiger. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but best of all, exercise makes you feel good. That's why I always feel so awake and energized after a soccer game. Wow! So, what do you do to exercise at least three times a week? Well, I always have soccer practice on Mondays, I play catch with my dad on Thursdays, and I walk my dog Sammy every Saturday. Hmm... Well, I don't have a dog, but I do like to ride my bike after school. Yeah, that counts as exercise. What else do you like to do? Sometimes I like to jump on my trampoline. And I also love going to the park to play tag with Dee and Maria. Those things totally count as exercise, too. Good job, Chris. You're already exercising three times a week. Keep it up. Thanks. So that stuff is exercise, even though it's fun? Yep. Exercise is very important, but there's no reason it can't be fun, too. Wow. Well, I really like doing all those things, so getting exercise three times a week is going to be easy peasy. And fun. <laughs> oh, yeah. And fun. Peter, do you want to have get up and go time with me right now? Sure. We can pretend we're running through the jungle. Let's do it! <laughs> <laughs> Always wear a helmet! Your bike sure is cool. 
Thanks, Chris. I'm really excited to learn how to ride it. Have you tried it yet? Of course, but not without my helmet. Why do you have to wear a helmet? You should always wear a helmet when you ride your bike. It keeps your noggin safe. Your noggin? <laughs> That's a funny word. What's that? Your noggin is your head. At least that's what my grandma calls it. Gotta keep the old noggin safe. Ha! <laughs> I like that! Noggin! <laughs> there are lots of times you need to wear a helmet to stay safe and keep your noggin protected. Like when? Well... When I ride my bicycle I know it's better to be safe when I am skateboarding or wearing roller skates. I keep a helmet on when I'm having fun. It's better to be safe. We will not get hurt if we follow rules. But on a helmet first, it helps protect you. Ba -ba 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 -da -ba. See, Chris? It's fun to wear a helmet. I like keeping my noggin safe. Me too. Here's the noggins. Noggin, noggin, noggin. <laughs> <laughs> it is a funny word. Come on, let's go get your helmet and practice being safe together. Yeah! <laughs> Conserve water. Thanks again for inviting me for a sleepover tonight, Peter. I love sleepovers. Uh, Chris, you should always shut off the water when you're not using it. But how will I brush my teeth without water? All you need is just enough to get your toothbrush wet. Like this. Why do I need to do that? There's water everywhere. In oceans, and lakes, and streams, and even when it rains. Well, you're right. But not all that water is safe for us to drink. Here. Imagine this. If you took all the water in the entire world and put it in one big pool, it would look like this. See? I told you that's a lot of water. It might look like a lot, but of all that water, only a tiny bit is safe for us to drink and use every day. Oh, that's not very much at all. No, it's not. That's why we have to be smart about how we use it. Wow, you're right, Peter. I didn't think of that. It's always smart to save water. Where else can we save water? Well, we can save water by taking a short shower instead of a bath. And by sweeping up dirt outside instead of using a hose. And I always tell my dad when I find a faucet that's dripping so he can fix it. Dripping faucets waste a lot of water. Oh, I know. Like using a bucket to wash your dad's car instead of using a hose. That's right. And when I help my mom do laundry, we can make sure to always wash full loads instead of washing just a few things at a time. Those are great ideas, Chris. Wow. I had no idea there were so many ways to save water. You know, Peter, all this talk about water reminds me of a funny joke. What did the ocean say to the shore? I don't know. Nothing! It just waved! <laughs> <laughs> that was a good one, Chris. <laughs> Rhyming words in the I family! Can we play the rhyming stories game again? 
Of course! That was so much fun last time. <laughs> Shake the snake likes cake. That was a silly rhyming story. It was. So, what are we rhyming today? Let's rhyme the words in the I family. I? I, V, E. Words that end with the sound I've. Okay, let's get started. I love to swim, but I really love to dive. Dive ends with I. After swimming, we ordered pizza. How soon until it will arrive? <laughs> Not too long. It's not a far drive. I hope you're hungry. We ordered a lot of pizzas. How many did we order? Twenty-five. <laughs> <laughs> I love pizza. I'm so happy I could dance a jive. <laughs> Uh-oh. Is that a bee? We must be sitting near a hive. Oh no, don't squish them. We want to keep the bees alive. <laughs> if we want to eat honey, the bees have to survive. <laughs> that was fun. I love rhyming stories. Me too. Whoa, what was that? That was my tummy. I think all this pizza talk is making me hungry. Me too. Good thing it's almost lunchtime. Good thing, because I want a pizza with extra... Uh... Cheese! Hey, that doesn't rhyme. I know, but it sure sounds good right now. You're right, it does. <laughs> <laughs> Go outside and play. Hey, Dee, what are you doing? Watching TV, it's my favorite show. It's called Cat Chat. <laughs> it's a beautiful day outside. Let's go play. I don't know. I really like this show. Oh, well, my dad is taking me to the park later, and I was going to see if you wanted to come along. Mm, no thanks. Dee, haven't you seen every episode of Cat Chat? Yes, it's so funny. Well, since you won't be missing anything new, how about we go outside and play? It's more fun than sitting inside all day, and it's better for your health. It is? You mean sitting inside all day is bad for me? It can be. Staying active is the key to staying healthy. We need to get up and get moving every day to keep our bodies fit. Really? But I already eat really healthy. Isn't that enough? Well, a healthy diet is a great start, but we need to be active, too. We should get up and exercise at least three times a week. But why stop there? There are so many fun things to do outside every day. We could go outside and play soccer with our friends, or, or we could pretend to be famous time travelers going back to the time of dinosaurs. Or... We could be explorers, mapping the uncharted jungles. Or we could be the world's greatest detectives on the trail of a jewel thief. You're right. We could be on a deserted island covered in hot lava, and the only way across is to jump from rock to rock in our lava boots. Or we could be astronauts flying through space in our own rocket ship, playing asteroid blaster with aliens. 
We could be Wild West cowboys riding on the range. <laughs> Come on, Chris. What are you waiting for? Yee-haw! Hey, <laughs> hang on. I'm coming too. Last one to the moon is a rotten dinosaur egg. <laughs> <laughs> And those are just some of our adventures. There are always new places to explore and new things to learn. That's why I love living in Wonder Grove. And now you can join us on our next adventure. Come on!